Welcome to the Early Sense tutorial video. This video will cover placement of the Early Sense sensor, connecting the ES2 bedside unit, admitting a new patient, and basic troubleshooting. For additional information on how to operate the Early Sense system, please refer to the relevant user guide provided upon installation or online at earlysense.com. To begin, connect the sensor to the bedside unit. When connection is made properly, a click sound will be heard. Place the sensor underneath the mattress below the chest area. The sensor should be placed horizontally and face up, as indicated on the sticker, with the cable facing towards the patient's head. Secure the sensor cord to avoid the patient stumbling over the sensor. Also, make sure the ES2 bedside unit is connected to the AC power. If the ES2 bedside is not already on, turn on the system by pressing the on button on the side of the device. The two indicator key lights will flash blue lights. After the Early Sense app is successfully running, Admit screen will show. The Admit Patient screen appears on the touch screen when the system is turned on and will remain there until a patient is admitted. To admit a patient, simply enter the patient information on the Admit Patient screen. ID, room number, and bed number must be entered for the patient to be admitted. If the bedside unit is connected to the Early Sense CDS, choose a color to assign the patient to a nurse. If a patient is in bed for 15 minutes or more, but was not admitted, a message will appear on the CDS indicating that the patient was not admitted. In the event you see a blue alert with no AC power message, Ensure the power cable is properly connected to the AC power and the ES2 bedside unit. In any case you see a blue alert with check sensor message, please ensure the sensor is connected properly by checking both the sensor cable to the quick connect and the quick connect to the ES2 bedside unit. For more information on the use of the Early Sense system, please visit www.earlysense.com.